Hi, it's Janelle McClarty again, and welcome to the Shopify for Beginners course. In this section, we're going to be talking about where you can actually find themes. So we're going to be looking through the free theme section as well as the premium themes. In the last video course, we went over how to actually open up your Shopify store. So this is how the back end looks. And I'm going to show you where we can actually find the themes. There are a couple of places we can go. So we're going to click on online store. And then the drop down occurs and then you see themes right under there. Instead of clicking on themes, I actually just scroll down and we have the theme library. So in this theme library area, we can upload a theme that we've already purchased or that we found online. Um, we can explore themes. So Shopify's th free themes are in this section, or we can explore the free and paid themes using this filter tool. So we're gonna look through the free themes first because this is a beginner friendly course and I understand that beginners want to save as much resources as possible. So let's see what the free themes have to offer. So Shopify does have a limited amount of free themes. So as you can see in here, there are nine free themes to choose from, but they're really good quality themes. So let's take a look at this first one, which is called the simple theme. So it tells you, okay, this is perfect for showcasing products. Um, it tells you the features of the theme. So it does have a sidebar menu. Um, you can zoom into certain products. Um, it has image animations and product recommendations for customers. Um, this theme does come in three different styles. So it shows you the previews of the styles here. This is the light style. Then we have the toy style. And this is how it looks in mobile version versus desktop. And then we have the beauty style. Okay. I'm going to go through a couple more of the themes. So let's pick, mm, let's pick supply. So it does tell you um, this, this store is ideal for stores with large inventories. So that is a good little pointer for people out there looking for themes based on your requirements of your actual business or store. So reading these descriptions do help. So the features for this theme, it has, it's built for large categories. It has a slideshow, um, featured collections are on the homepage and it does come in two styles, which are the light, which it's currently on or the blue. And don't worry, just because the styles come in these colors and in these different layouts, um, you can still customize it even further to your liking. So let's say your branding is not this sort of blue, but you like this layout better. You can definitely change these colors. All right, we're going to jump over to the premium theme section so you can see the difference between how these free themes look, which they look pretty good already, and see what the premium side has to offer. So here's one premium theme that's called Palo Alto and it's $180 US. We're going to check this theme out to see what does it have to offer for this additional money. So the reviews, it's 152 reviews, 96% positive, which is really good. So that's one thing I look at is the actual reviews. Then it has actual stores that are using this theme and customize it to their own liking. So we can actually check out one of the stores. And it does look really, really clean. As you can see. And here are some theme features. So it optimizes for large images, so that's really good. That does um, increase the speed of your site if your site is optimized for images. 
Um, it includes customer testimonials. That is a big benefit because usually you'd have to download apps to um, retrieve customer testimonials on your site. So this theme already comes with that. Um, so it is worth that money because buying the getting an app does cost money. Um, quick buy allows customers to quickly add items to their cart without leaving their current page. Again, another really good feature. Pickup availability engage local shoppers by showing where items are available for pickup right from the product page. Again, that is something that if we did that on a free theme, you'd have to possibly download an app or have a little time with setup to make that available on a free theme where as this theme it's already set up for you. Um, search focus menu allows customers to easily search your store for products, tags, and more on mobile devices. So that is a really big feature for to allow customers to just easily search um, on some of the free themes. Maybe I want to say majority of them it does not have these really easy, straightforward search options. Um, and multi-level menus, that is another feature that's not really found in most free themes. So having um, drop-down style menus, I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say you have your menu here. So we're gonna go to jackets. And then when you're in jackets, a drop-down style menu. Oh, this one doesn't even have one. Oh, let's view the demo. Like, let's view the actual demo of this premium theme. So here's a drop-down style menu. So you can hover over this drop-down and it shows you even more categories and it breaks it down for you better. Um, majority, if not all, of free themes, the free themes do not have drop-down style menus. You would have to integrate that. So this is another feature that does make a lot of sense to have depending on what you need your theme to look like to incorporate all of your products and services that you're offering. All right, so we did go through the full section of this topic, which is where to find free and premium themes. So as I said, you go to the drop down so you're going to see themes here and you scroll down and here's a theme library area if you like to view the free themes you would click on explore free themes if you like to browse through free and some paid themes you would go to this theme store there are ex additional external theme stores um, that are out there that create shopify templates um, for the purpose of this course, I want to stick to the Shopify approved um, theme stores, which is right here. Um, and then there is one other theme store that I would recommend outside of this, um, and it is called Theme Forest. I will just show you quickly what it looks like. So it's themeforest.net and you can find thousands of themes here that are not only for Shopify, but we can find Shopify themes that developers have made here as well. So multi-purpose Shopify theme, $99, 12,000 reviews. So there's so many options. Um, I typed in Shopify and there's 1200 results here. So yeah, there's a lot of options when looking for free or paid themes. Um, I hope this information helps you. And um, we're gonna move on to the next section, which is what, import, what are some important elements to look at when you're actually selecting a theme? So that's the next section and I'll see you in that course in that video. <laughs> All right, thank you.